Hello, everybody. It's nearly game time at the Continental Airlines Arena in New Jersey. I'm Bob Steele, and I'm here with my partner, Rod West. Let's take a quick look at the starters. Any thoughts, Rod? Kerry Kittles is a great ball handler, so a lot of pressure rests on his shoulders. The coach is counting on him to play mistake-free basketball. We'll see how things pan out, Rod. Let's get ready for the player introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention courtside for the player introductions for the Boston Celtics. At center, Tony Petit. At forward, Antoine Walker. Also at forward, Eric Williams. At guard, Eric Strickland. Also at guard, Paul Pierce. and control and knocks it down. concentration. He didn't keep track of his feet and then lost it out of bounds. He's got to keep in mind in the game, Bob. Passes. High rises. Yeah. Down with one hand. Martin. 
Martin is fearless, Bob. He knew he was going to get banged. He knew he might not get the call. He did not care. That's what it takes to get inside and finish strong in the NBA. Walker with the inbound. Passes it. That loads from deep, deep, three-point range. I like aggressive deep, but that's a little bit too aggressive. Almost an assault. You'll pick up the foul on that one every time. He gets the first of two. Jefferson just wasn't satisfied with laying the alley you bit. He jammed it home to send a message. Pierce passes. Bounce pass. Seven on the shot clock. Stopped all by Walker. Walker. Walker didn't throw down the fanciest dunk right there, but it all counts the same. Just under nine minutes here in the first quarter. Kid gets busy. Gets the lay in. Kid. You see, throws it in. Passes. Picked off. Kid has the ball. Pushing inside. That was a nice thought, but you've got to have the passing lane in first. There was just way too much traffic in there to let a pass like that block. Yanks it down inside. They've got to be thanking their lucky stars that shot went wide. That should have been an automatic two. So wide open. Kittle corrals the defensive glass. The team might want to consider taking that shot a few feet closer where he's a lot more comfortable. Kid passes it. Passes it. Puts it up inside. Can't think of a defending shot. Martin doesn't let anyone get in his way on those moves. If you try, you will get steamrolled. I know I would have gotten out of his way, Rod, but then again, when you're 5'5 five, five and a buck 40, could you blame him? Oh, no, Bob, but no excuses. Look at somebody like Allen Iverson. He only weighs a buck 60 soaking wet. I expect you little guys to mix it up again. The defensive rebound by Batine. Passes. Is from beyond the arc. Can't get it to drop. Way to clean the offensive players right there, Bob. Walker capitalizes on the second chance opportunity. The Nets could add to their lead with a bucket this trip down. Martin is asking for it in the post. They work it in. Kicks it out. Caught by Kittles. Caught by Kittles. Pretty good from there, Bobby. Great release. The Celtics can cut into the lead with a basket here. Strickland dishes it off. Walker shoots. Can't answer back. Walker to take twice before he takes that shot. And if he still wants to shoot it, he should take a third time and a fourth time. That's not his game. Pass to the paint. Kenyon Martin shoots for the paint. Gets the far iron, but it goes in. And that's pushed the lead out to double digits here in the first, and the other team had better get their act together, but this could be an early blowout. The Celtics have the ball. There's zero on their last two from the arc. Passes it. Walker puts it up from a step inside the line. Gets the kind bounce off the back rim. Walker didn't like what he saw there at first, so he gives a little pump fake to get a better look. It works like a charm here, too, and after the fake, just lines up for the J and drops it in, Rod. Tombo inbounds the ball. The Nets are at the controls. They're four out of their last six on the floor. Kid elevates. Watches the lay-in. Nice rebound by the seven-year man out of Kentucky. The Celtics work it up court. They haven't hit a shot from the arc. Strickland passes the ball. It's rejected. The team gets it right back after the block. Puts it up. Can't drop it in. Good defense, especially on that earlier block. Strickland misses it, but you had a pretty even matchup out there. That could have gone either way. Grabbed by Jefferson. Passes. Oh, yeah. 
passes. Seven seconds to shoot. Goes with the fadeaway. Bounces off the left rim and out. Kid must have realized that he had an average defender on him and put up that shot. The problem is, is that he's just an average shooter. Now in the paint, they push it inside. Passes outside. Off the back rim and in by Pierce. Boy, that's a tough spot to be in against a shooter of his caliber. You've got to bring your all if you want to shut him down. Kid brings it up. He's one out of his last four from the floor. Passes it. Pulls the trigger from the high post. Gets back iron and out. Just over five minutes here in the first quarter. Strickland makes the pass. Walker takes the turnaround, Jay. Connects off the front rim. Bobby, that was a great move inside. He is real tough down low like that. Just under five minutes here in the first quarter. Passes. Goes with the crossover. Puts it up. The run cannot be stopped by Kidd. That shot didn't come off quite as planned, and the D was able to thwart it without much effort. The Celtics can trim this lead down and bring it close with the bucket here. High post shot missed by Walker. Kidd with the ball. Kidd has the ball. He's shooting 25% from the floor. by the D. Let him try and work that cross the road, and then you make sure you're right there to take the ball. Great play. The off-the-glass lay-in was cashed in by Pierce. Martin with the inbound. Just under four minutes here in the first quarter. Kid passes. Off the court by Kidd. Uses the crossover. Puts up the shot. Walker picks up his first rebound of the game. The Celtics have the ball in an 8-0 run. Gets airborne. It's blocked. Bobby, he has such great anticipation. He's easily one of the best shot blockers in the league. Well, definitely, Roddy. He lets their perimeter defenders take more risk when they know they have a big-time shot blocker backing them up like that. Just over three minutes here in the first quarter. Lob, and low, kicks it out. They're inside. Inside, seven seconds to shoot. Kittle puts it up from a step inside the line. Can't stop the run. That's nice heads up play on D. Bounce pass. Paul Pierce shoots, doesn't get it all the way there. Pierce had the straight jacket clamped on him out there. Nice defensive style. Passes it. They work it in. Seven on the shot clock. Kid passes it. Swatted away. And it's right back to the shooter. The long three-pointer was missed by Kittles. Battle for that board. Kenyon Martin gets the second chance bucket. Walker throws it in. Just over two minutes here in the first quarter. Passes. They push it inside. Takes a wide open shot. Ties it up. Defense has to get a body on him out there. Make him think twice before he takes that shot. Kid has the rock. He's one of five from the floor. Passes it. Kittles launches from beyond the arc. Puts too much on it. That's a nice job fighting on the offensive floor. Hunt fakes. The ball is loose. Kid gets it right back into the block. Received by Strickland. The Celtics are looking for their first lead of the game. Out on the wing. Strickland dishes it off. Seven seconds to shoot. He yanks it down inside. Harris with the rock. Seven on the shot clock. Passes. Harris launches from beyond the arc. Gets right iron, no good. 
good shooter from long distance, but the defender met the challenge on that one. 36 seconds here in the first quarter. Baker is looking for the ball. From inside, can't sink the well-defended shot. The Nets head into the front court. They're shooting 16% from the arc. Childs passes the ball. Get stopped by Delta. Passes it. Harris lets it go for the wing. Doesn't get the tough shot. There's the horn, and at the end of one, it's 19 to 19. The Nets played it even after one period, Rod. Anything jump out at you? Field goal percentage, Bob. Their coach has to be happy with the tie at this point. They've been getting sorely outshot, but they've kept it even. They need to play some tougher D and close the shooting gap. Substitution to the Celtics. McCarty inbounds the ball. Passes. Launches from beyond the arc. Can't drop the lightly contested shot. Yanks it down inside. He's running, but there's two back defensively. Walker heads up court. He hasn't hit a shot from the arc. Things got a little jammed up under the net right there, Bobby. A golden opportunity for the defense to get in there and get the steal. That's how you play defense. Hill makes the pass. Seven on the shot clock. Hill wasn't watching the line there. That's going to be over and not what they wanted to do. Quite simply, mental mistake. Stay tight inside. Lobbed it. In low. Rogers hops it up from nine. Drops it in. That's where his talent lies. Those inside shots just like that. Get him the ball. Keep getting him the ball. The Celtics can tie it up with a basket this trip down. Passes it. from beyond the arc, gets the front rim. Well, I tell you what, they got the bullet right there. The three was wide open, but they're lucky that one didn't go in. Childs has it. Seven seconds to shoot. Goes with the fadeaway. This is off the right rim, that is. Simple but effective pump fake gets him enough room to bury the J. That's a clever move. I figured you'd like this play, Rod. He just nails the shot after shaking his man loose with a nice pump fake. You figured me right, Bob. Call me old-fashioned, but a simple, effective move to get to the bucket? Who can't bump that? McCarty with the inbound. The Celtics have it. They're shooting 40% from the floor. Hill passes. from the top of the key. Carries his 13th point of the game. They left him all alone on the outside. He is making them pay for their mistake. Just under 10 minutes here in the second quarter. Passes. Roger launches from beyond the arc. Can't take the lead. Rogers telegraphed his shot. The defense was three steps ahead of him and was right in his face to force the miss. The Celtics bring it up. There's zero out of the last four from the arc. They tie this one up on the bucket by McCarty. He completes the three-point play. Pick him up. The Nets have the ball. They're two out of their last six from the floor. Passes it. Picked off. What quick hands this guy has to grab the ball out of the air. Passes. In the paint. Pulls the trigger from the high post. Tickles the twine. Rodgers throws it in. Just over nine minutes here in the second quarter. Childs passes it. Inside pass. Skies gets the lead. The Celtics are at the controls. They haven't hit a shot from the arc. Passes it. Seven on the shot clock. Shoots. 
Did I really see that? Let's see it again, Rod. Walker gets the bucket, but he's the beneficiary of one heck of an assist right here. That's what a good teammate does. He gets you the ball right in the spot where you're most comfortable. And after that, it's up to you to knock it down, and that's what he does right here. Tombo inbounds the ball. The Nets work it up court. They're shooting 38% from the floor. Launches from beyond the arc. Can't tie it up. He had the room to shoot. He had a good look at the rim, but he just couldn't drain it. The Celtics can extend their lead this trip down. They'd love to do that. Passes it. Here, coming back in after sitting on the bench for a while. Just under eight minutes here in the second quarter. Passes. Harris fired for the right block. Calls it in by Baker. Harris must have realized that he had an average defender on him and put up that shot. The problem is that he's just an average shooter. Baker dishes it off. Uses the crossover. Gets cut off by Rodgers. Walker takes off. Watches the lay-in. Walker makes the pretty crossover, but it doesn't get you any points on the board. Passes it. Seven seconds to shoot. Harris high rises. Gently drops it in. Baker with the inbound. Just under seven minutes here in the second quarter. Inside. McCarty takes a turnaround. Jay takes up his fifth point of the quarter. He's got five in the game. Nice looking assist here, Bob. A player should always be looking for a teammate who has the better look. Oh, that was a nice feed, Rod. And no doubt about that, but it's only an assist if the guy makes the basket, and he does right here. The Nets have the ball. They're three out of their last six from the floor. Matombo wants it down low. They're inside. Shoots from 12. Backs it up and out. Williams should have known better than to take that one. You have to play within the confines of the game. McCarty gets vertical over the gets the lay in. The Nets head into the front court. They're shooting 12% from the arc. Childs passes the ball. Williams gets blocked. Williams capitalizes on the second chance opportunity. Strong to the hole here, Bob. He threw it down as if no one was around him. Yeah, there was a lot of contact down there, and you have to be able to finish in traffic to be successful in this league. The Celtics have it. They're shooting 50% from the floor. Watch the pick. Passes it. Launches from beyond the arc. Gets the kind bounce off the back rim. Turn out that. Williams will come off the floor. For the Nets. Williams will come back onto the, the floor. Nets. Martin throws it in. Kidd has it. He's zero on his last six from the floor. Passes. Stolen! That is not how you play this game. Definitely too risky of a pass in that situation. Here's a tip. Pass around people. Not through them. Pierce makes the pass. Walker leaps up on the mark. He now has 17. The Celtics established a double-digit lead, and that's a big difference to have to make up. Kidd has the ball. He's shooting 12% from the floor. Kidd has the ball. Martin puts it up inside. Passes it off the short side. He's no marksman, even from the inside, but he finds a way to sink the shot. The Celtics could add to their lead with a bucket this trip down. It. They work it 
in. Elevates. Gently drops it in. Time out, Nets. Kills. Looks fresh Such coming back on the floor. The Nets. Martin inbounds the ball. Kidd is at the controls. He's one of eight from the floor. Kidd passes. Grabbed by Rodgers. Fires. It's his sixth point of the period. He's got six total. Rodgers gets the bucket, but he's the beneficiary of one heck of an assist right here. That's what a good teammate does. He gets you the ball right in the spot where you're most comfortable. And after that, it's up to you to knock it down. And that's what he does right here. The Celtics bring it up. They're one out of their last five from the arc. Passes. Baker rises up. Dunks it down with both hands. Baker was making sure that there was no chance that shot was going to be blocked by stuffing it. Just over four minutes here in the second quarter. Bounce pass. Passes it. Goes with the crossover. Puts up the shot. Now that's just good court smarts to anticipate the D and adjust the shot. Really nice play, Bob. The Celtics have the ball. There's six out of their last six from the floor. Pierce passes it. Seven seconds to shoot. Passes. Takes a turnaround, Jay. Can't get it to fall. Pierce was playing the percentages there. He generally makes that shot, but not that possession. Williams works it up court. He has four points from the paint. Kittles now has it. Seven on the shot clock. Pass back. Launches from beyond the arc. Connects! Rogers didn't like what he saw there at first, so he gives a little pump fake to get a better look. It works like a charm here, too. And after the fake, just lines up for the J and drops it in, Rod. McCarty with the inbound. The Celtics are at the controls. They're shooting 20% from the arc. Into the low post. They push it inside. Deflected, and it's loose inside. Nice block there. Terrific defensive stop. Marner dishes it off. Gets airborne. Baker, his whistle for blocking. That's his first foul of the game. He can place the three point play. Walker will head to the bench. Celtics work it up court. They're shooting 52% from the floor. Pass right wing. Pierce launches from beyond the arc. Can't stop the run. That's a tough defensive matchup. But they did play it pretty good. And they prevented the three. The Nets, with the score this trip down, can tie it up. Nine for a miss by Martin. Baker grabs the defensive board. It's just under two minutes here in the second quarter. It. Takes a shot from about six. Can't stop the drought. Strickland met his match on defense. Hopefully, he learned something. Here. The Nets are on a 10 to 2 run here. Bounce pass. Kittles goes with a fadeaway. Doesn't get it all the way there. He had a good look, but the D stayed as tight as a new pair of shoes on a rainy day. This is going to be a real close matchup. Baker with the ball. From the arc. Kid passes the ball. Ball, ball, ball. Iso, Iso. Uses the crossover. Jabs. Gets cut off by Pierce. Now by Dell. 57 seconds here in the second quarter. That's a great job to close after the crossover and get a hand on the ball. Quick hands right there, Bob. At the foul line. 
seven seconds to shoot. Shoots. Gets back iron and out. He's almost a guaranteed juice from that range, but the D kept a little bit closer than his shadow. He's going away empty-handed. Pass low post. Puts it up inside. And now hit double figure. That's an old basketball move, but the pump fake is still good. I figured you'd like this play, Rod. He just nails the shot after shaking his man loose with a nice pump fake. You figured me right, Bob. Call me old-fashioned, but a simple, effective move to get to the bucket? You can't love that. Baker throws it in. The Celtics have the rock. They're one out of their last six from the arc. Bounce pass. Strickland with the rock. The run cannot be stopped by Strickland. Kidd has it. He's shooting 22% from the floor. Launches from beyond the arc. Not this time. Let's pass the baton to our studio partner. Take it away, Clark. Welcome to the ESPN Halftime Update. Here's a quick breakdown of the numbers from the first half. The Nets have taken more shots than their opponents, but they haven't been as selective. Their lower field goal percentage has them battling in a close game. Antoine Walker in the first half has a total of 17 points and two blocks. That makes him our Sega Sports Hot at the Half player. That will do it for now. Make sure to tune in to the ESPN postgame show at the conclusion of the game. We'll send you back to Bob and Rod. Substitution for the Nets. Walker the makes the pass. Launches from beyond the arc. Walker was left in the loach after that fourth pick. His teammates have to help him out a little better than that. Passes in low. Tosses it back out. Pulls the trigger from 18. Doesn't get it all the way there. Jefferson must have realized that he had an average defender on him and put up that shot. The problem is that he's just an average shooter. Received by Pierce. Launches from beyond the arc. Can't get it to drop. Pierce is beyond cold right now. And he's in a little deep freeze right now. And brings it up. He's 2 of 10 from the floor. the blame for that. That pick was pretty good, and he should have been able to lose that defender. The Celtics have it. They're shooting 12% from the arc. Martin has the ball. He has 10 points from the floor. Kittle has it. Kidd makes a beautiful dish, and he's got 7 assists. Petit with the inbound. The Celtics bring it up. They're shooting 44% from the floor. gets his 11th point of the game. Walker is the kind of player that drives an offense. He can influence the game with his passing skills as much as with his shooting skills. Kidd is at the controls. He's one out of his last six from the floor. Bounce pass. Jefferson rises up. Watches the lay-in. Walker puts the finishing touches on a double-double, throwing up some pretty impressive numbers when his team needed them the most. Walker has position down low. In the paint, Martin Defensive gets foul. called for the That's reach. That would be his second foul, foul of the game. Strickland foul. comes back in after sitting on the bench for a while. Substitution for the Celtics. The Celtics Six will ball. turn it over. You know they've got those lines painted there for a reason. A good player knows exactly where he is at all time and does not slip out of bounds like that. Kid passes. The pass is intercepted. Walker works it up court. He hasn't hit a shot from the arc. Walker continues to pressure the offense into coughing it up and coming away with big-time steals. A few more plays like that, and they just might sweep by with this one. Passes. That's an impossible block, Bob, but hey, he did it anyway, and that's all that counts. He had horrible position, but somehow managed to reach over, get the block, and not commit the foul. Good job. Passes it. Seven seconds to shoot. Kid launches from beyond the arc. Gets back iron and out. 
Right now, this guy has to be asking himself what's wrong. He cannot connect on any of his shots, and he's just not contributing offensively like they needed to. Bounce to the paint. Fires from the post. Bounces oh, off the left rim, then in. Man, he is just in his element inside. What a player. The Nets have a big opportunity and can tie it up here. Kid passes it. Leaned in, but missed by Matumbo. Walker grabs the defensive board. The Celtics can extend their lead this trip down. They'd love to do that. Passes. Launches from beyond the arc. Kisses it off the right rim, then in. Great look and a great bucket right here. Let's check that out again, Bobby. When you get that pass, you need to hit your shot just like you did here. up court. He's zero on his last two from the arc. Kittles has the ball. Kid shoots from 13 feet out. Gets the ball, but it goes in. There's an example of unselfishness because the assist made that play. A guy like this out there is working for the whole team, not just his own personal shot percentage. Strickland has it. He's one of five from the floor. Walker shoots. Now has 19 after that bucket. Bobby, that's the kind of shot he likes, and you can see why. Give him two points. The Nets are at the controls. They're shooting 18% from the arc. Bob to the field. The alley was pooped in by Jefferson. Kid, it is as cool as ice, and he is not melting under the pressure in this close game. You have to love a guy this heady calling the shots when the momentum can swing either way. The Celtics work it up court. They're shooting 47% from the floor. Walker releases from close range, puts too much on it. He's got his rebound and fundamentals down, Bobby. He sure does, Roddy. He anticipates where the ball's going to go, boxes out, and then cleans up. Kittles takes the basket and gets a trip to the line for one more. He completes the three-point play. Petit inbounds the ball. Strickland brings it up. He's one out of his last five from the floor. Walker is asking for it in the post. Pierce goes with the fadeaway. Gets his sixth point of the period. He has a total of 15. Walker spotted someone on the outside who had a better shot and gave it up. It's great to see a player more interested in picking up the assist than forcing up a shot. Kid with an assist here. He'll have 10 assists on the night. Pass to the paint. Rejected hard. And it's loose inside. You know, more of those kind of shots are going to get by him more than he'd like. But this time, he gets his hand in there for the perfect projection. Strickland, skies! Martin gets whistled for blocking. That's his third foul so far. He can't get the first. He sinks the second. Strickland will leave the floor. He's really been struggling so far. With the inbound. Kid has the ball. He has a hit shot from the arc. Kid dishes it off. Martin is looking for the ball. Goes with the crossover. There he is. This is a textbook crossover, Bob. Check it out. Boy, straight passes, man, and he lays it in for two. Pretty move. over six minutes here in the third quarter. Launches from beyond the arc. Williams from the arc. He's got two from downtown. The three-point shot is his forte, and of course, he nails that one. Bob, you've got to watch him close out there in the outskirts. The Nets have the rock. They're four out of their last six from the floor. Passes it. Kid now has it. Uses the crossover. Williams. Kid launches from beyond the arc. Except the yeah. in the corner, he's got nine in the game. He won that battle from the perimeter. That's a great matchup out there. A couple of the best going head to head. Williams passes the ball. Walker launches from beyond the arc. Kid answer back with a three. He was able to get a good look thanks to that pick, but he just couldn't knock it down. Shot 
puck. Passes it. They're inside. Tom Lowe shoots with the clock winding down. Miss fire! You know, if he was any better, he'd clobber this defense. But they really poured it on and forced him to miss. Passes. They work it in. Puts it up from 11. Just picked up number 21 with that bucket. He is so hard to stop on the inside. You need to bring your A game if you plan on stopping him. And that wasn't an A. Kid is at the controls. He's one of three from the arc. Caught by Jefferson. Martin wants it down low. They push it inside. A difficult shot and miss by Martin. Tony Petit grabs the defensive board. The Celtics head into the front court. They're shooting 48% from the floor. Petit takes a wide open shot. A defensive rebound by Matumbo. Petit had no one near him, and he still blew that shot inside. This is the NBA, not the NBDL. Martin makes the pass. The steal! You've got to put the club on the ball when this guy's nearby. He'll snatch it before you know it. The Celtics have it. They're two out of their last six from the arc. Jay was missed by Pierce. Rebounded by Mutombo. Kidd works it up court. He's one out of his last three from the arc. Jefferson with the ball. Seven seconds to shoot. Passes it. Launches from beyond the arc. He gets right iron. No good. Kenyon Martin isn't even going to dwell in that last shot. He knows he should have made it, so he'll wait to redeem himself when the next open three comes around. Now in the paint. Skies. On the mark. He now has 17. Williams made the great inside pass right there. It can be dangerous to push the ball inside sometimes, but that's where the high percentage shots are. The Nets can cut into the lead with a basket here. That might kill us. The team will come off the floor. The team will come off the floor. Walker throws it in. Pick him up. Passes. Launches from beyond the arc. Oh, yes. it and gets his 11th point of the quarter. He has a total of 20 so far. Pierce gets the bucket, but he's the beneficiary of one heck of an assist right here. That's what a good teammate does. He gets you the ball right in the spot where you're most comfortable. And after that, it's up to you to knock it down, and that's what he does right here. Kid has the rock. He's 4 of 14 from the floor. Bounce pass. Puts it up. The Kid is doing a great job of spreading the ball around, but they'll need a little bit more teamwork on defense to turn it around. The Celtics would love to extend their lead this trip down. Inside pass. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Kid's answer back. Baker fades away inside. Gets back iron and out. Baker can't believe he blew that one, and neither can I. No excuse at the finish when you're that close. Rodgers wants the ball. Unloads from 10 feet out, puts too much on it. Jason Collins might want to consider taking that shot a few feet closer, but he's a lot more close. The Celtics have the ball, They're shooting 47% from the floor. Passes it. Seven seconds to shoot. Launches from beyond the arc. Nice to the front rim. Williams had everything going this way, but that wide open three wouldn't fall. Williams with the rock. Jails off the mark by Williams. Baker has it. He's shooting 40% from the floor. Passes. They're inside. Fires from the right block. Perry's number 22. Here, spades on this shot, and that's what makes it so impressive. Looks like he thought he needed a little more space than he had, and it turns out he was right. Rodgers inbounds the ball. 50 seconds here in the third quarter. Passes it. Goes with the crossover. Seven on the shot clock. Puts it up. He yanks it down inside. Kid has an amazing crossover.
crossover. But if you can't score after making that move, then it doesn't matter. Grab by Williams. Takes off! Gets the lay-in! That's a big bucket, and better yet, it puts some serious space between these two teams. You want to hold that lead steady, or open it up if you can. Kid brings it up. He's shooting 33% from the arc. Takes a quick shot. Carries his 13th point of the game. That's court vision right there, Bob. To be able to see the outside man like that and make the assist is what makes a good player great. The Celtics are at the control. They're three out of their last six from the arc. Fired long by Williams. We're at the end of three with the score 69 to 61. The Nets couldn't hang on to their lead at the half. Any stat you see as being a major factor right now, Rod? Three-point shooting, Bob. They're not keeping pace from the arc with their opponents. They need to get it going inside and get some higher percentage shots as well as play tougher perimeter defense. Williams with the inbound. Kid passes it. Inside. Loose ball. It's stolen. He picked his pocket there, and look at the total steal. Great anticipation. That's the way to contribute to the team. Passes. Walker shoots. Puts up a miss. Good rebound on the inside. Anchor gets the second chance bucket. That's a big basket to really open up the lead. We're getting down to the point right now where every shot counts. Kid has the ball. He's one of three from the arc. Passes it. Uses the crossover. Kid lets it go from 17 feet out. Hits it by Williams. Now, sometimes it's just smarter to tip that ball right back in on the putback rather than bringing it down so it can just get stripped. He fought for position and made the play. Baker throws it in. The Celtics work it up court. They're three out of their last six on the floor. Now on the wing. Walker takes off. Kidd is at the controls. He has nine points from the floor. Kidd dishes it off. Passes. Gets cut off by Williams. Seven on the shot clock. Pass back. Kidd shoots with the clock winding down. Puts too much on it. I think he might not have fully recovered from the crossover before making the shot. That's about the only reason I can see from this. Passes it. Puts it up inside. Takes his 24th point of the ball game. The Celtics have a double-digit lead, and that's a great cushion to have in the fourth quarter. As long as they don't bog down on offense, they're in great shape. Kidd works it up court. He's one out of his last three from the arc. Passes. Goes with the crossover. With the jab step. Seven seconds to shoot. Gets stopped by Baker. Kidd puts it up. Can't answer that. Kidd is a proud warrior inside, so he has to be a little humbled when he blows an easy one like that. High rises. Goes glass on the land. Beautiful feed inside. There was only one place to put that ball, and he got it there. Kidd has the rock. He's 4 of 17 from the floor. Williams passes the ball. Give it up on the turnover. That's their 11. He stepped out of bounds, and now they're going to have to give up possession. You have to know where you are on the court at all times. The Celtics have the rock. They're shooting 30% from the arc. Bounce pass. Pin down, pin down. Baker stays away inside. Hauls it in by Rodgers. Ben Baker has to score in that situation. When you're that much better than the defender that's guarding you, you have to take advantage. Jason Kidd has had a solid night tonight, but unfortunately, it hasn't translated into a lead for his team. Nice looking assist here, Bob. A player should always be looking for a teammate who has the better luck. Well, that was a nice feed, Rod. And no doubt about that, but it's only an assist if the guy makes the basket, and he does right here. Walker inbounds the ball. The Celtics head into the front court. They're three out of their last six from the arc. Passes.
misses it. Inside, inside. They work it in. The clock winds down to six. Walker makes the pass. Baker takes a turnaround, Jay. Now is in double figures. The Celtics are simply giving the other team fits. It's bad enough when one player is dominating, but when a team shoots this well, there is not much you can do. Kidd has an opportunity to get his third three of the night this trip down. Passes. Seven on the shot clock. Uses the crossover. Puts up the shot. Kidd can't buy a basket tonight. He's having an off night to say the least, right? Well, this won't be a game for his personal highlight team. Lack of days ago comes to mind, but that word is a little overused these days, Bob. Passes it. Walker goes with a fadeaway. He doesn't get the tough shot. He has got to stick that open jumper. No one is happy with that shot. Not him, and definitely not his coach. Received by Collins. It's knocked away. Kid has the ball. Seven seconds to shoot. Kidd puts it up from 11. Doesn't get it all the way there. Kidd might want to slow it down a little. Walker fires from the right block. Can't sink the well-defended shot. Walker is only the average shooter in the best of conditions, and with the defender all over him, that certainly wasn't the best condition. Pass left wing. Pulls the trigger from the high post. Good position and tip by Collins. Great second chance opportunity. He fought for position and made the play. Baker with the inbound. The Celtics bring it up. They're shooting 48% from the floor. Passes it. Pass caught by Baker. Baker gets his sixth point of the period. He has a total of 12 so far. The Celtics are getting everyone involved tonight, which is making them very tough to defend. Kidd has it. He's one out of his last six from the floor. Williams passes. Roger shoots in the paint. That's a lot of left rim and out. The pick didn't quite work for him there, Bob. The Celtics have the ball. They're three out of their last six from the arc. Passes. They push it inside. Fires. Gets his 26th point of the game. Pierce has the adrenaline pump. He's feeling real good right now because everything is falling for him. The Nets will take a timeout here. The combo looks fresh coming, coming back on the, the floor. Nets. The Tombo throws it in. Ken brings it up. He's shooting 26% from the floor. Down right wing. Crossover gets cut off by Williams. Passes it. Seven seconds to shoot. It's loose. It's rejected. Gets the board. Puts it back up, but no dice. Martin was open, but he took that shot too quickly. If they had worked the ball around a little, they might have gotten a better shot. The Celtics are at the controls. They're three out of their last six from the floor. That last jumper by Baker. The height difference was the key here on this jump. Yeah, a height difference like this really makes a big impact at this level. I got him. Kidd has the ball. He's shooting 50% from the arc. Caught by Kittle. Passes. Shot clock. Kid launches from beyond the arc. Can't stop the run. Kid comes away empty, but he was playing pretty well on that. I'm not surprised he missed it. Pierce now has it. The ball's loose. Williams passes it. The steal. Into the low post. Martin from inside, knocks it in, and he's got a dozen. He's no marksman, even from the inside, but he finds a way to sink the shot. The Celtics work it up court. They're shooting 30% from the arc. Passes it. In the paint. Walker goes with a 
the fadeaway. Doesn't get the bucket. That's how you fight for the offensive rebound. Sundog capitalizes on the second chance opportunity. Excellent concentration here. Takes the jumper, gets hit, and still manages to drop in the bucket. Great play. You've got to be strong to make a play like that. Hey, defensively, you never want to foul a jump shooter. Challenge it aggressively, but don't bail him out and hurt your own team by giving up the bucket and the foul. He's one of the best, Bobby, but all the other team is thinking right now is how they're going to get the ball back after the whistle. Well, Tom Lone is at the controls. He's one of four on the floor. Martin finishes it off. Jason Kidd had to alter his shot because the defender got so much pressure on him. That's why he missed. The Celtics have the rock. They're shooting 50% from the floor. Passes. Baker fades away inside. Not this time. That is such smart defense when you're on the inside. And frankly, that wasn't his best work. Top of the key. It's fearless, Bob. He knew he was going to get banged. He knew he might not get the call. He did not care. That's what it takes to go inside and finish strong in the NBA. Sundog inbounds the ball. The Celtics head into the front court. They're three out of their last six from the arc. Williams passes the ball. Seven on the shot clock. Passes it. Sundog pops it up for nine. Doesn't get the tough shot. Oh, Bobby, you've got to like the way he ripped that one down. Sundog gets the second chance bucket. The Celtics score yet another basket down low. And as you can see, they've completely dominated the paint tonight, making it very hard for the opposition to keep up. Grab by Kidd. Takes a turnaround, Jay. He doesn't get it all the way there. He is so good on defense. It's like poetry in motion watching him derail a shot like that. Well, a poetry oh, oh, slam, anyway. Passes. Pierce releases. It's his sixth point of the period. He has a total of 28 so far. The Celtics are getting great production from the bench, and that makes the starters drop so much easier. Kidd has the rock. He's two out of his last five from the arc. Kickback. Uses a crossover. It's cut off by Williams. Matumbo makes the pass. Seven on the shot clock. Swish through by Matumbo. The D was there, but it really wasn't strong enough to be a factor, even against a mediocre inside man. The Celtics have it. They're three out of their last six on the floor. Passes it. Williams with the ball. Seven seconds to shoot. Now by Williams. Punches from beyond the arc. Sinks his 24th point this game. Matumbo with the inbound. Kid has an opportunity to get his third three of the night. This trip down. Passes. Crossover did its job, buying him the time and the space, but it doesn't end the basket. 53 seconds here in the game. Pass back. Goes with the fadeaway. Can't get it. He just has a nose for the ball, Bob. Amazing instinct. It's instinct and desire, Rod. He just wants the ball more than anyone else. Passes it. Tumble with the rock. Seven on the shot clock. The shot clock ran out of them. They'll have to give it up. Rogers will head to the bench. The team coming back in after sitting on the bench for a while. Walker throws it in. Received by Strickland. Passes. 
Strickland launches from beyond the arc. Bounces off the left rim and out. There's the horn, and the game is in the books. The final score, 92-74. to Well, that's it for us. Be sure to tune in to SportsCenter to catch the latest news, scores, and highlights. Check your local listings for the correct time and channel. That's on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. This is Clark Dishman welcoming you to the ESPN Post Game Show. The Celtics come away with a brutal 18-point victory over the Nets. They now move to 16 and 12 on the year. The Celtics just made a determined effort tonight to only take high percentage shots. The opposing team just couldn't pressure their shooters enough, and that proved to be the big difference tonight. Antoine Walker ended up with a total of 24 points and 15 rebounds. He will get our ESPN Player of the Game. What a player. Well, that will do it for now. I'm Clark Dishman. We'll see.